Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cardboard from Mars. Uh, this is Nate, and joining me, as always, my uh, good friend and compatriot, Nima. Hello, hello. So today, uh, we are going to be getting our preludes on, getting our preludes on, uh, playing a, a three-player match with a full play prelude uh, outfit. And so did you notice we have both Space Corps there? Yeah, we've got uh, we've got Point Luna and Saturn Systems. So let's check out our cards. So the, I think, um, well, I don't know uh, if this triggers uh, Point Luna. I'm not sure about that, but uh, let's let's just see what our cards are. Right. Ooh. Either way, we're gotta go space. But oh, thank you, ja Oh man, Saturn Systems is looking pretty good now. Um, it de okay, private says it does not. Well, I think we got to go Saturn Systems here because this is this is a pretty pretty good start. Um, let's take a look at our preludes again. So the thing is, if we go if we go Saturn, we get Research Network to draw cards and a Jovian. Right. If we play Point Luna, we have zero card draw with Point Luna because this is a late game card. Right. Yeah, I think it's Saturn. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's Saturn Systems as well. Um, what about our second card? Let's see. Um, yeah, so Research Network and... We're going second in the queue. It's, it's uh, re uh, just to understand that too. I mean, yeah. we could just go full card draw, go Research Network polar industries and try and take cards yeah i would either do polar industries or supplier because power is just kind of generically good i agree i think supplier is also decent although we don't have any we don't have any cards that require power i guess we have ghg 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 is not bad and we get some steel to use on it too yeah, I'm not sure I like it more, though. I'm More than Polar? Well, I, I just think that if we're going to go Saturn Systems, like, drawing five cards is amazing. Because you, you just get to, I mean... See the Jovians? You get to see the Jovians. Okay, I'd be fine The, the supplier too. is good, too. I, I'm, I, I don't... I guess it just depends on how combo-y you want to go. But if you think about it, supplier, like compare supplier to Polar Industries, you go, you're going to spend all of this on the card mm -hmm. and one energy, and you're going to end up with four heat. Whereas in this one, you're going to end up with two heat, two cards, and an economy. I actually think it, I mean, obviously this- Maybe economy. This looks, no, we get an economy from the ocean. Well, oh, okay, yes. So, I mean- this is definitely going to look better if we draw like okay. a electro catapult. Right. Well, I don't know. It's it's fine. You can do uh, like either one of those. I'm totally fine with. Dude, I want to draw cards, Nima. Okay. All right. So, so we got to make sure we can play asteroid mining on turn one. I think we're just taking one, two, three. That gives us, that's 12, that, that would be exactly 30 credits. Or no, we'd have, uh, we can take one more card. Do we want to, though? I don't like any of these cards. I'm cool just waiting. So oh, so you're taking kelp farming. Yeah, kelp farming's awesome. And and the thing is, with these preludes, the oceans come down so fast. Mm. Okay. You cool with this? Yeah, I don't think there's not much else to do. All right. Winning um, expedition was kind of meh. Dude, we are going to draw four multipliers out of the five cards. I can feel it. We're going to draw Terraforming Ganymede, the Ganymede City, Water Imports, and Io. All of them. Oh, wow. Wowie wow. <laughs> and then you're just going to call me a genius for choosing all the card draw. I wonder if that's ever happened. It's quite oh. unlikely. Okay, so we get to we get our uh, ocean. All right, so let's see here. Let's let's draw cards first. Uh, 
I guess we don't get. Let's see what our cards were. Okay, actually, Phobos is quite good. Those oh, are good. Those nice. are good. Those are good cards, actually. Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna take some more cards. Cards all day. Um. So Admiral had a pretty good start. He's at seven. That business um, empire is just sweet. Yeah, business empire is quite good. Um, I like our start though. I we're gonna be at three titanium production on turn one. Yep, and then another one. Add another one on the on turn on Gen two. Right. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That one's nice too. Also good. Um. Oh yeah, I private. We're gonna be above it because we have asteroid. We have asteroid mining, which is pretty good, and then we can follow that up with Phobos. Um. Next. Oh, we got business network. That is nice. Mm. That is nice. Um, good for us. Our draw is really good. Okay. Little does Admiral know that we don't plan on getting any cities. Well, does the the colony right? Yeah, that's well, true. that's only on Mars though, huh? The pets. All right, so we are at nine, so now we're in twelve, thirteen. Our economy is at thirteen. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Um. Private, when uh, we drew. Business Network and Phobos. Uh, ni imported Nitrogen, Nitrophilic Moss, and Imported GSG. These, these cards right here were the cards that we drew. Pretty pretty good draws. I'm not going not gonna to lie about that. <laughs> Dude, we're, we're pretty set up for plants, too, now. No, we're, we're, we, have, we have a very versatile um, hand. Next time, we're definitely going to play Phobos. Uh, yeah, I actually think GHG imported GHG is not the worst. Yeah, I think we're. I mean, I think we're we're gonna we're definitely doing that. Um, these guys are just gonna be have it like have to have octopus arms to hold all the Jovians back from us. <laughs> I like that. We already have three Jovian tags. Nice. Uh oh, this card's really really cool. Experimental. Wow, those are, that, card's, that card's really good. Play what a does plant. it do? I missed it. So it lets you play a plant, and then you draw two plant tags off the top of the deck. Oh, wow. And he drew Ecozone and Plantation, which are both good. Well, we need to make sure we don't let him get uh, protected, Habs. Still got five Titanium, too. Wow. You know, the other thing that's good about having uh, Saturn systems is that if somebody does play Asteroid Mining Consortium on you, it doesn't hurt quite as bad because you still get right. the plus one. Um, but um, we, right. we got a good enough start that AMC won't hurt us too bad anyway. Yeah, I mean, it still hurts on turn one, but... Of course. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's happening turn one anyway. Well, he still has got eight cards. He could. He's got. Oh, he's a, got a lot of money. Huh? Yeah, he could do it. Dang. Media group and no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Okay. Yeah, private. That's a that's a bad that's a feel bad moment. <laughs> yeah, <it> sucks. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Every draft. Every draft is a is a disaster zone for them, right? Let's let's see the multipliers. Oh yes, thank you. Do we have and so we have an earth tag. I mean, Optimal arrow breaking spray. is good, and it actually would be quite good for us. But I I think we just have to take. Yeah, I think so too. Particularly because we have another earth tag here, right? And because we're. Saturn system. Private, you would take arrow breaking there? I'm not sure. I, I mean, it's close because arrow breaking is quite good, obviously, but um, uh, I'm not sure about that. I think I just cut fish here. Uh, fusion power is good too. 
And we're passing. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Private, but I mean, I don't know. That's a tough call. You could be right. Um, but uh, on the other hand, this thing is a. Uh, it's going to be a bump of one, two, three for us. And, and a, a point, if not three or four points, depending on how many multipliers we get. I don't know. It's it's close. No, no, no one's going to play Miranda Resort, I don't think, other than us. Do you want to take fish? So let's see here. This turn we're going to play Bobos, yep. Business Network. We can afford it. We should. You want to take fish this early? Um, I don't know. Uh, sorry, we don't have an indication as to what is going to fill up quickly yet. But if fish is a very good card, and we know there's going to be plenty of plants to eat. Like, okay about it. I guess we have imported nitrogen. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll take the fish. Since we already have a couple points on it. Um, all right, so let's start with, let's think about this. So I guess we just play Phobos to start with. I'm trying to decide if it's better to play Business Network into Miranda Resort and then save this for next turn so we can see another card. Let's see here. So if we play Phobos, 20, we have 30 cash, so it's 25. Yeah, we won't have enough to, to play Business and draw a card. But you gotta play it. Well, it's the same economy boost if we play Miranda and Business Network. Okay, then I don't. I mean, the only difference though, this th that other, and the other advantage of doing it that way is that we get to stockpile another six titanium for Phobo. Or I guess. Well, so yeah, if, if we play Phobos now, we'll have more titanium to get Miranda out. I know, but this is the same economy boost because you get plus one for the Jovian tag and then we're going to have two Earth tags. So it's a plus three. This is a plus three. Oh, I three. see. Yeah, you're right. I forgot both. So the, the thing is, this will be a plus three boost and we get to see an extra card. Potentially, though, it'll be a bigger boost later is the only thing. That is true. I'm fine just doing this if you want. It's also that's a city. I, that's what I would do. I'm not sure that's totally correct, but I'm I'm okay with it. Yeah, I mean, just because that's what I would do does not mean it's correct. <laughs> Private's comment is 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 well taken. I mean, I I don't think that anybody would play Miranda, honestly. I mean, yeah, that's what I said. But uh, I, I actually, Finnegan probably would have because he had three a boost of three. Mm. I don't know. I I just think that um, if you're gonna go Jovians, I mean, look at how well positioned we are. We already have four tags. I mean. Every multiplier is devastating already. I mean, and I, I think that the thing is, I don't know about that. I mean, we already have two of two of the good arrow breaking cards, or at least one of them. It's possible. I mean, arrow breaking. Either way, he's gonna get a. If, if we pass him the other one and he plays this, it's plus three for him. He's gonna generate. Let's see here. Over the course of the game, 9 times 3, 27 cash out of Miranda. I mean, I don't think he's going to do better than that with arrow breaking, honestly. He's already got media groups, so he's going to be incentivized to play events anyway. That's true. So he's he's a net... He, then he's a net... Uh, I, I think what you're discounting, though, Private, is that this card's going to be worth 4 points for us. Or three or maybe, something maybe, like that. Maybe more. All right. So I think we're going to pass. would like to get that business network down. I, I, I'm not sure. I think it might have been better to do it the other way, Nima, just because we want to see as many cards as we can. But that's okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a minor point. Time will tell. I mean, if we get some more Earth tags, then you'll think the other way. That's true. That is, that's definitely true.
Private, I think that that I think that pick is close. I don't think it's as obvious as you think. Um, I think there are arguments for both. It's an interesting discussion. So we could take Mohol. I like Mohol. Uh, I think yeah, that's what I would do. That's what I would pick. All right. A Gen three Mohol. Do we want to do that? That seems early enough. I guess passing Protected Valley is also kind of annoying, but um, we're passing up to Admiral. He's already got one. That's fine. I, th I think Lowell's okay. Ooh, Solar Wind Power. That's good. I do like the Science Tag, and it has some Titanium. Wouldn't mind that Water Splitting Plant, too. I don't mind if somebody takes this aquifer pumper because we have kelp farming. Do you want us to keep predators? Since eco, nah, I don't, I don't think that's worth it. I would take Soleto. Yeah, just make sure somebody doesn't get a heat engine going. Yep. Although I don't totally mind if they do. Why? Let's try to dominate that. You want to actually play Soleto? Doubtful. Um, let's let's look into it. I guess like whatever. Yeah. Is it we have titanium, so it's probably it's probably not. I don't worth think it, it's but... worth it because what we want to we want to build up titanium and play uh, play um, space events with or uh, Jovians with it. I could see playing Mohol here over the course of seven generations, twenty seven to. 20, is 24. What do you what do you think of Private's suggestion of keeping predators? Uh, Private is so he's so hell bent on just messing up other people's <laughs> game. I, I actually don't think that's a good move at all. I mean, it's taking a card that's speculative at best for you know something that's going to be played seven generations later. I mean, that's just like if you're playing two player, I think that makes sense. But I don't I don't think it's at all clear who's going to be our opponent at that point of the game, or if we're you know. Um, I mean, I think he's right that there probably is going to be animals on that card. But... Yeah, but the, the, what's speculative is when you get the predators down. If the oxygen is the last thing and you get one point off it, it just doesn't, right. it doesn't do enough. Um, I think those are the two cards, man. The question is, are we going to play Mohol this turn? Because if we're not going to play it this turn, I don't want to play it. So if we play, if we take these two cards, that leaves us 23 cash... Then we play Mohol, and we don't have enough to business network again. Right. And I'd rather business network in Miranda Resort this turn. <laughs> and I definitely want to keep solar wind power. I, I don't have any I think need we for the power yet. but No, but we will, and it's a, it's a science tag that's good for us. I think we skip Mohol. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's a little weird, but I don't. I, I don't. I think that's a mistake. Nah, dude, you're gonna love it. You okay if I just do it? I mean, no, but you you got the mouse. <laughs> dude, Mohol. We don't need Mohol. Trust me. Because the thing is, we want to play these two. We need to get Business Network online. Like our our plan is Jovians. It's not Heat, and so. Like we we cannot pass up opportunities to see cards because yeah you can't you can't just have a one we can't have one strategy there's got to be more than one we've so got like, more, we've got more than one though well okay I mean we have a huge we have it we're building a good economy that card would have been sweet for us too uh, we've got a nice economy going also we're playing preludes it's going to end on nine potentially. <laughs> Like that gives it even less time for Mohol to be good. Forgot about that. But you can argue that about anything. Like, of course, like every single card in the game is not as good. Well, the point of getting at Nima is that in this case, I'm I'm valuing card draw more than spending twenty credits on on four heat production. 
Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm saying. And I think I I get that. (laughs) um, I just don't agree. But who knows? I don't know. Whatever. I very well could be wrong. Insulation. Ouch. Well, no, no, that's not good anymore. Never mind. You didn't take Mohol. <laughs> um, You're not thinking about keeping that. Not terrible. Fine, we don't have to keep it. Um, Tim's going to take Planner. So we'll play Miranda Resort. I mean, we're doing your plan now, so Business Network, Miranda. We played the Business Network and looked at uh, Insulation. Yeah, I know. So now we'll get to Miranda. Catapult's good. Go Miranda. And um, five, six. We can play this next turn using titanium. I think we just pass here. There is an argument to play solar wind power now in case you, you draw the card draw. You know, there's a couple things that let you spend an energy to Nah, I don't wanna I don't want a power floating. Yeah. We and I, just, I, I think we saw Power Supply Consortium, so someone might have it. That's true. Although that one, we the the one that we saw requires two energy tags um, to play. I, I didn't check what these guys have. Oh, wow. Man, and that Holy is a just moly. busted draw right there. Uh, I mean, I think we go AI for sure. Yeah, we can't pay, pass AI, but Research Outpost is, would be really nice. So would Space Elevator. Both of these cards would be good That's for us. That's a ridiculous hand. Yeah, I mean, it has to be AI, though, because... It's um, got to be. I mean, particularly with Jovian's strategy. Um... Okay, so we have we have two science tags. We need one more. Um, I guess this is a way. I mean, I guess we just take greenhouses here. Yeah, that's probably the one I, I would mean, take. I mean, tech stress power is good too, but we have we don't have the. We will need a power for the AI, which we get with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take tech stress. I mean, greenhouses is really good though. It, it, but it may not be. All right, I'm I'm fine taking tech stress power. There's a chance it won't be. I mean, it's it already probably... it's already pretty good. Wow, yeah, virus. Yeah, virus. Okay, we'll take virus. All right, all right. There you go, uh, private virus. Are you happy that we took it? I don't think I'm gonna buy it, but man, we're one science tag short. That's frustrating. The virus is so 2020. <laughs> Man, this guy's got 70 cash. He's just going to go for planner and then unload his hand. Um, all right, I think we take this. Do you want to take hey. virus? Uh, let's... We have the money right now. Could be good. All right, let's take it. It'll at least it's something that can be annoying for people. Yeah, I mean, you're probably it's it's robbing someone of it of one or two points, pretty much. All right, so. Really needed a science tag. Hopefully, we draw one. Yeah, we would have had a sweet turn if we had our tag. I 
I think a Gen 5 AI is still good. Particularly because this, this game actually, even though it's preludes, I don't think it's going to take that long. Um, I mean, I think it's going to go longer than your average prelude. Like, nobody's terraforming right now. Although, I think Tim is probably going to unload a bunch of stuff now. All right, here we go. Let's get some good mojo. Mm. Posers. That card's actually pretty good for us. Y yeah. It's That's... good. It's like, well, we already have four ways to trigger it. And we have a thing to put it. Yeah, we should take it. That card's good. Okay. Um, and then let's play... I guess... <sighs> I guess we just I guess we just pass here because if somebody bumps the heat we can play the we can play this uh import his GHG and bump and get the bonus or whatever. And he might have Demos. Sixty one cash. Another thing that we might consider doing, because we're gonna be a little weak on milestones, is if Admiral Murphy does not play a city right now. We could just like play a city somewhere and then play another one and take mayor. It's it's a little weak, but at the same time we're gonna have a bunch of plants. So having two cities is not horrible. I don't know. I, I Interesting. Guess the, um the problem is we'd be turning off AI if we did that. Yeah, I feel like that's too big of a tempo hit. Because, like, what we, we would pretty much spend everything just like standard projecting a city, right? Yeah, it's not great. I guess we could try and go for builder. We're going to get two, we could have potentially two building tags. Um, <laughs> the real main guy. Man, that was that was an yeah. unfortunate pack for us that we had to pass all that stuff. Um, but what are you gonna do? I mean, you can't pass AI. I mean, it's no, just that's that was the right call. I just don't think we could have passed that. Certainly not to this guy who already has so many cards. So I think we just go ahead and play Imported GHG. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty much free. Oops, wrong button, sorry. All right. Um, I was going to play this one at a time just in case these guys yeah, yeah. hook us up. That's, that's correct. I don't think we're going to get hooked up here, but... That means Tim has outpost. Right. How much money does Admiral Murphy? He's gonna have eight. He's I mean he's not gonna have that much money. I I guess I guess we try and go for builder. No, we're gonna lose builder. This is tricky. We don't have a good uh milestone. There it is. <laughs> good call, David. Called it. Hmm. Well, go ahead and bump the heat. We're just pa I think we're just passing. Like, do you do you really think that like trying to get those heat bumps is like that important to not do it right now? That's that's a real question. I don't. I'm... I mean, it costs us one cash, and we lead off next gen. So if he does some stuff, I don't know. I think it's probably worth it just to skip it. It's just okay. one, it's one cash. I don't know if he's got demos down. It's super annoying. We just like TM up for both. Yeah. And it is it is going to be essentially another TR bump over the course of the game.
That's too bad. We had not having one more science tag is a real bummer for us because getting AI on right there would have been really, really good. I know. We just desperately need one. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get one in this draft. We're gonna see five more cards with the business network and. Wait, were you were you counting the wild tag? Yeah. Okay. Big turn for him. He's doing what I always like doing, which is uh, just save, saving all your money and then just uh, taking planner and then going from there. Yeah. That's always my favorite strategy. That strategy actually seems even better in Preludes because the, the, the disadvantage of doing that strategy in a normal game is that you build zero economy. But he started with eight. Right. So, like, I mean, that, that, that changes that whole equation completely. Well, there's Gardner. Yeah, he's going to take Gardner, too. Yeah, we're getting smoked in this one. Nicely done. Nicely done. We're not out of it yet. No, for sure. But we're going to... We're not going to get a milestone. I think we're we're going to be very dependent on on what we draw off of those cards. But we are going to have good card draw, assuming we get another science tag. Uh, oh man, this is annoying too. A lot of great cards again. If we had played a city, we'd be set up for mayor now. Arct algae's not bad. Gosh, I don't know, man. This is tough. Um, is it too late for acquired company? Probably. I think I think that we have to take. Let's see here. I think that we have to let this guy think that we're not going for mayor, and that he's le that he that he ho goes for builder, and then we sneak mayor. I think that's our best chance. <laughs> Um, let's see here. He's not close to another one, is he? No. Another what? I, I think uh, another milestone. I think we have to take Immigrant City here. I mean, Convoy is also good for us. Which way are we passing? Odd up? So we're passing to Credit Corps. I think we take Immigrant City. I would probably be fine with that. I think there's a lot of good choices here. We did, car, Convoy does have card draw, though. Yeah, but we're not going to play it now. No, of course not. I mean, I guess we, we kind of could, actually. I mean, we don't have we really anything else to spend titanium on. We have six titanium. Uh, all right, I guess yeah. we'll take Convoy. That's a tough call. Man, these these initial drafts have been horrible for us because they've just been so like packed with good cards. We take the Raiders. Sure. Yeah, I think we just take Raiders. Um. No, we would take we would take Plants Dumpster. Well, man, we're still missing that science tag that we need. Come on, science. We take moss. Sure. I guess another argument would be reservoir. Just so that we can get some of this other st Like, we could turn on nitrophilic moss with reservoir. It gets us closer to kelp farming. It's already on. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it gets us closer to kelp farming, too. 
But moss seems good. I think plants are going to be pretty heavy this game. This is four cash back right now too, though. I think, or is it two? I can't tell. Um... What do you prefer? I uh, keep thinking moss. We, we can't even play this right now because we don't have any plants. Right, but Tim does. No, but you, this, you have to remove your own plant. I know. So if we played Subterranean Reservoir, we could play Nitrophilic Moss because we could take two plants. Whereas this one, we can't even play it. I see what you're saying. And this gets us closer to kelp farming. I think we should take Subterranean Reservoir. Okay. You got it. Um, so we take the convoy, I think we take the reservoir. Yeah. We can skip hired raiders. I guess, I mean, I guess it costs us one to do it. Take some money, do you want to take some money from somebody? There is a lot of titanium to take. I think you can just take steel. Oh, it's just steel or money? Yeah, it's steel or money. So it costs us one to take three from somebody. Okay. Do you want to do it? Sure, why not? Dude, heck yeah, dude. Let's do it. All right. So let's see our card here first, because I think it's going to have implications for the whole round. Oh. Ugh. You want to just go, go full on plants? Just seems to be what's going on right now. All right. Um, you know, Saturn Systems plants. The classic. <laughs> the old Saturn Systems plant strat. Let's take this guy's money right now. Uh, Valley Trust. Um, all right, well, we could also, we could just convoy. I mean, it draws us three cards. Like we could convoy onto this card, draw three cards and hope to hit a science tag. I mean, it's not the worst play. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we we're in sort of desperation mode because we need to get AI on if, if we're going to do it at all, you know? I hear you. Because this this game is slipping out of our out of our reach. It's slipping away. Good thing it's not a league match. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we that, oh, that's only if if we lose, right? That's right. You're right. Yeah. I, I guess I'm 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 sort of thinking about the strategy in preludes of just like if you have money production, just like taking a bunch of cards and taking planner seems really powerful to me. Because it really circumvents the the major drawback of that strategy in the base game, which is that you don't build economy, you know? But like your preludes can really do that for you. Which is which is kinda cool. I mean I, I think that's that's a good that's a good play. Whoa, black polar dust. So we're pretty close to uh, to kelp farming. There's that too. Wow, he played black polar dust, a card we've given an F. <laughs> for fantastic. So what are we, what are the we doing only now? thing is I'm I'm still like not a hundred percent convinced about the immigrant city versus convoy pick, but it it's close. I mean, I just think we're gonna get we're just edged out of milestones. I think it, we just need to accept that. That 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 is a danger with Saturn uh, with the space corps in general. Yeah, I think particularly in Preludes, though, because um, 
it's just so much easier to get milestones with some of the preludes. Yeah, there it is. All right, well. There's Mayor. I think, let's see here. Let's hit this guy's plants right now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, we, could, we should wait till we get decomposers out. Um, all right, should we... What do you think, I mean, man? Just, I think we should just we the reservoir. I, yeah, that or, yeah, that or the reservoir. Why don't we... What do you think? You want to just reservoir? See, I, everything else on, I mean, can't use the plants yet, but. Reservoir and draw a card? Yeah. That's a thing to do. All right, let's do it. Archie bacteria. Uh, yeah, he's at seven plants. Oh shoot, he's at eight. Oh. Right. I, I thought he was one less. Let's go ahead and hit him with the virus. It does suck that we lose one micro, but um, that's gotta hurt. All right, let's see here. So. Do we have enough to convoy kelp farming? <sighs> Private, it did feel good. I'm not going to lie. It did feel good. Um, David is totally right. I should have done that. I should have sequenced that differently because uh, I, I thought he was at seven plants. I didn't realize he was at, at eight with that. So... I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's like, fine, I'll just play my greenhouses. Oh, that's an odd... Why did he play it there? For the money? Yeah, maybe just for the... I guess just for the money, but... That's kind of a weird play. I mean, he must have a city or something. Leading off next turn. That sounds risky, man. All right, so let's see. Let's do. I mean, you just want a convoy and see what we get. I don't have a lot else to do right now. I mean, that's the other option would just be to play a city here, but uh, I think I don't want a standard project. The city that seems horrible. Yeah, it's really not good. Convoy, we, we really don't get uh, the full value off it, that's for sure. Yeah, we're still getting plenty of value off it. Let's just do it. Dude, it's fun. It's fun. Um, we can get four money back. Oh, uh, well, well. He drew Industrial Center. That's nice. And, and titanium, titanium Mine. Titanium Mine. That's also these. So do you want to take, um, okay, here's what we can do. We can take, we can take a, we don't have a tile on the board yet, right? So we can take uh, two See. plants and cash back, then play industrial center here. And then we'll have enough plants to play a greenery and we're not locked into the board because this thing is cut off from everything. I see. Shall we? Sure. All right, so let's take this. And then let's just do this right away. Oh, kelp farming's on too, which is good. So let's, I guess that means that we don't have to do this right now. We could play just, we could just play kelp farming. That gets us there too. Oh, okay, yeah, do that then. 
All right, let me just skip here and then. It kind of hurts to float plants like this, but. Yeah, they only have 12 cash right now, and he's he's basically out. I don't think it's that much of a risk. We already played the virus. Okay. We could just play the plant here and just take cash back. Yeah. It makes I'm a nice switch. it makes a nice city for green here though because pretty well protected. Where else would you play it? Like up up far north? Lat far lateral for some titania or steel, I mean. Yeah. We gotta get this. Uh, we gotta get this thing down so that we can get the benefit of all these plant tags. Mm. Yes, unfortunately. Okay, so let's. What if we play decomposers, help farming? Okay, so let's let's start with decomposers. Click out farming. And what do you think about taking I'm sort of liking either one of these spots. no way we can get to titanium mine unfortunately okay I think it's probably still worth it next turn yeah I think yeah, I think so. maybe interesting all right where do you want to place this plant Nima I'm st I still think up north is better taking this this steel yeah it's just far away from everyone's centers it's they're less likely to go up there yeah plus, plus we get some steel I'm fine with that. I think we should just go ahead and play the industrial center now. Okay, why? Well, I mean, it just blocks this spot. I mean, we just need to start blocking him. I guess the other option would be here just to make this a bad spot for a city. But another ocean, this just becomes such a prime spot. Um, It's two plants that put us at three, four, five, six. We play. It's all right. Yeah, let's just do it now. We're all playing chicken with the heat here. It seems like. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bump it anyway. If he has it, he has it. It, it would be annoying because he's going to hit six plants for, of ours with Demos, but at this point, uh, everything we can get. So let's see if there's anything else that we'd want to play now by selling cards. Um, and I think we want all of these cards, so. Yeah. I mean, I think we're selling possible exception of Archaebacteria, but I still want it. Yeah, even that I think we're playing. I mean, it's another thing on our on those. Um, it's another counter on our thing too. But yep. uh, come on, science tag. Yeah, um, ugh, that was tricky. Not sure what I would have done differently so far. Okay. Um, The uh, district is pretty gross right now, but I do like, so we're passing even down. We're passing to Tim. I think we just cut high, imported hydrogen because he's got the double media group thing. Yeah, we can, we can actually use. Yeah, and we can use those like plants. That. We can actually use all three of those things because we could just put these onto the other card. 
Yep. So I think we take that. It does give him mining area, but like whatever, it's already Gen Six. Yeah, and we have titanium mine. Wow, Thank alloys. you. Yes, Alloy is actually good. It's got to be Alloy's. <laughs> Um, Ally is actually quite a good draw for us there because yeah. that's going to be good over the course of the game. It is a little annoying that we pass the the heat thing that can just like cut us off from having a good city, but which heat thing? We the um yeah, Carpe. That's what we were thinking. That's why we think it's good. Um. The uh, the volcano thing, because if they put the volcano on Tharsis Tholus, then it kind of blocks us with this crappy plant out here, but no way around that. Oh, energy saving. One, two, three, four. So we don't need that because we have tech stress power. You might want to so we we did just see the uh let's just cut it yeah yeah i think we need to take it because we saw the, the the power conversion card all right so here's i think what we do on turn one if it comes if we're able to is i think we play that that space card this imported hydrogen and we try and make a plant over here a plant? Because we have six plants. I don't think we want to... I, I, I doubt they survive, honestly, but... Um, maybe maybe this is premature. I should probably should have just waited on this. But Hurts to not get AI on, though. Not sure we're going to have enough money for... Well, we might with the uh, Titanium, because yeah. we can play... One, two, three... Yeah, yeah, I think we do. I think we do that, huh? Yeah. Well, no, no, we we won't have enough because we have so, to play alloys too. Mm, It'll be a mm, twenty. Yeah, we're we gonna could be short. sell a card. We could sell a card and do it. I think. I don't think we should do that because I think we should play titanium mine. One more turn of setup. I think it's one more turn of setup. Unfortunately. So we play alloys, solar wind power, imported hydrogen, make a plant, play titanium mine. I think that's a better turn than, than just... Why solar wind power? Well, we need an energy next turn. Next turn, yeah. I guess you're right. I guess we don't have to do that if we're not playing AI. Yeah, just like never play power unless you have to. Yeah, for sure, actually. So then if we skip that, we can hopefully we could try and play boss. We get boss down. Nitro yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I don't know. I'm a little torn. Maybe, maybe we don't need the extra production. Maybe AI is just more important. Um, I mean, we're, we're desperately crappy on Jovians right now. Oh, he played it right away. <laughs> oh, he played it over there. That's interesting. Research coordination. Hmm. Well, maybe we just get AI on. What do you think? I, yeah, I mean... We play alloys. I think if we... Actually, if we do that, Nima... No, we'll be one. We'll be one. We'll be a little shy of being able to play uh, hydrogen as well. Oh, there it is. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, playing this was a mistake. I should have held up on that. 
Oh, he hit Tim Finnegan. Perfect. Okay, good. Then, then it was perfect. <laughs> I mean, the problem is okay. Let's let's uh, let's let's see this thing first. Strip mine. Oh wow. Uh, I don't I don't know that we can take it. No, man, it's so good with alloys though. Yeah. Could we do it next turn if we played if we played advanced alloys? Tech stress power. I think it's too late to be set doing putting that much effort into to set up. Probably, but like what do we have? I mean that's what we're talking about doing with AI. Yeah, but with AI we're trying to get into Jovians, which is how we win. I don't know, man. This is that's a pretty strong play. Like these guys are out. We're gonna get the heat bump too. So look at this card. It's basically three TR plus six plus ten production and three points. Pretty good. It's ex it's expensive to get down. Could we afford it? So if we play. We play alloys and tech stress power this turn and set up for next turn. Leaves us two money. Eighteen nine. I don't know, it's close. So then we'd have thirty four money to start next turn. Not including titanium or anything. I guess I guess it's it could be not that good. Also, we're doing a plant engine. All right. So you want to you want to get AI going? Sure. It's at least it's the most fun thing to do. Yeah, I, like I feel like this isn't isn't going that well. So some card draw would help us. Agree. Okay. Let's let's give it a try. So we have two tags now. We'll play um, solar wind power. Overspend with titanium by one, and then we can sell. We could probably just sell titanium mine, honestly. Oh, well, oh, sell Archibacteria. It's off now. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, insects. insects. For six. Come Jeez. on. Jeez. Yeah, he's, he's running away with it. He really is, yeah. He had a here, just had a really good setup. Played well, and we did. We did not. I I feel like we have good cards, but we just didn't quite get there. Like I'm not sure there was anything we could have done differently. There's there's some like, in, there was a couple inflection points. It's hard to say what would have happened, but. Well. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, let's sell. Oh yeah. Let's let's go ahead. You gotta do. Um, yeah. Let's just sell. Guess. Let's sell Archaebacteria and then do it all in one, so nobody steals our power. Yeah, that sounds good. Um. Yeah. I the thing is, I don't think that they're. I don't think that we were actually in the milestone fights at all ever. Um. Like basically. Not really. Tim was going to get the gardener because he played a plant with a prelude. Mm -hmm. um, and then Admiral played a city with a prelude. So we were already essentially behind the eight gun on those. And then we could have done the planner thing, like where we, I, I guess that's, and that's maybe just like an inexperienced thing. Like I didn't even think about that play, but it, it may have been better to sort of try and compete for that. Um, I don't know. If, if that's a lot to spend on trying to compete for that. I don't know. I mean, I wasn't thinking about the game that way, so it's hard for me to. It's hard for me to know. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't play the game with that in mind. Mm -hmm. I think that if if Admiral had had the second milestone, we might have a chance. Um, because we do have nine. We have ten VP right now. Like we're we're doing well on VP. 
Maserano so far that hasn't uh, I don't think it has I don't think that uh, we have suffered from passing um, he's had one activation so far so he hasn't even paid for the card yet um, is there anything else we can do we're not selling all these cards so that's it for us wait did you draw the card did you draw from yeah I did Hey, okay. What did we draw? I, I missed we it. We drew um, small animals and uh, the it's like draw two cards space event, oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay. we've already passed the uh, threshold for being able to do it. Ground game is much better with Prelude. Yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it? Oh, Lava Tube Settlement, actually great for us. Yeah. Um, oh, but there's a Jovian in here. <laughs> Oh, I, I think, think it's got to be the Jovian. I think so, too. And I think we play it. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. The question is, is it like... Yeah, I mean, we have zero multipliers right now. I know. I guess the, we don't have a power for this either right now. So, it's. I mean, we'd have to play this, which I don't even think we have the money for. So, I'm, I'm fine just taking this Jovian. We have so much titanium. You never know. We've got we're seeing three more cards a turn, so we might draw yeah. some. I think it's likely. I mean, Jovian seems completely nerfed in Preludes. Like you, you'd have to be because they're just shorter. The game shorter, you mean? Yeah, like usually the full like just super overpowered Jovian is like on Gen twelve when you you know you. Um. Uh, cut space hotels. I guess. Not even that good at this point, but none of these cards are that good. Artificial lakes, okay. Artificial lakes, okay, but it's not gonna be on for a while. Probably cut lake, honestly. Okay. Hey Hodge, no, uh, we were gonna play a league match, but then one of the players didn't show up. And where was this when we needed? I it? know, right. Um. I mean, we could take it because we're at four science tags. Like, if we do get AI, it's better than security fleet. I don't know if we're going to buy that, but... If we get what? Uh, like... Anti-grab, um, I mean. Oh, of course. Of course. Does he have a... Yeah, it's going to be off, though, because he's going to play his plant first, so I don't think we need... So we'll take... Uh, oops. We'll take methane. Yeah. All right. Um, it kind of sucks that this lava, the lava tube is going to totally bone us because now we're not going to be able to play a, we're going to, the plant that we play is going to give somebody else a point. It really hurt us not having a city down. Um, I guess if Admiral Murphy doesn't play it there, we can play our plant here and just nerf that spot. I think we will 100% do that. Still though. Yeah. I mean, it's, that makes the city considerably less good. Hopefully Admiral plays his plant and then we do because we're so far behind that he should just give us that bump. <laughs> I think we draw immediately, right? Well, I think we have to get this plant down. I, I really hope. Oh, yeah. that, right, right. I really hope that Admiral plays this plant and just gives, just concedes the heat bump to us because this guy's running away with it. So there's not that much danger in him letting us have that bonus. And I, I really want to play the. Yeah. Okay. Good. Unless he just takes it himself now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's okay though. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. Holy moly. I, maybe Do we just standard project a city now? <laughs> well, I think we can just play our plant here. It's fine. It gives us two spots for the city. Right. So And, and it just turns it off. So I think it's good. I think we just do that. We'd have a three-pointer standard project. Yeah, that's not that good. Um, our cards.
Sabotage. Three, four, fives. What else did we get? We picked up imported hydrogen. And sabotage. Sabotage. Oh, we should do the sabotage right away. Let's just give all the hate to this guy. Tim. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> I know, he seems to be just crushing. I mean, it is worth noting that we have uh, 10 VP because we have the convoy. He's only got two. So, I mean, we... Have... Unless we get multipliers, it ain't going to be enough. Yeah, but we still have... We have a little bit of time before. I mean, we're going to see more cards. I don't... Yep. It's, it's, it's possible. I think the thing that actually is really hurting us right now is that we don't have a city because... We're making plants and we have this like plan to do more plant production and stuff, but we don't we don't have a place to play them for points. Um, dude, we're gonna sabotage him, right? Yep. Okay. Let me make sure that we're on the same page. Sabotage. Do you want to take his titanium or his uh, his money? I don't know. Probably titanium. Yeah, it's it's close sometimes. Still sometimes. have like giant ice asteroid out there, a nice asteroid, and dude, let's sabotage him. I think it's titanium. Brutal. <laughs> Ooh, investment loan. All right, that's actually good for us. That might let us do some stuff. Okay, so. I guess I guess what we want to do is get all of our plants down right now and then try and build a city to start next turn. Is that what we want? Um, to do? well, that'll invite someone to if we we'd have to slow roll that. Well, these guys already did most of their stuff. They've got 16 and he's got 20. I don't Yeah, I don't I'm just saying as a strategy for this round. So we play, like, I think we do want to play the Methane from Titan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so we'll play that. We'll have 21 cash. That's unfortunate. That's a good card for him. All right, so he's almost paid for... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, he did play it. That's huh. interesting. Not sure that was the right call. Man, we've used a lot of time. We're already at 25 minutes. All right, so... Um, Okay, we're agreed we're going to play Methane. Yep. Then we can play Grass and Nitrophilic Moss. That seems pretty good. You want to just keep building up the plant stuff? Sure. I mean, that's pretty good. It gives us almost a plant to turn for the rest of the game. And then next generation, we just need to get a city down. Yeah, you're right about that. Look at this little like uh, this little patch of greenery out here, Soul Patch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the northern oasis. All right, let's get this guy down, dude. I hope I didn't overpay for that. I um... yeah, I was, uh, you went too quick for me to say something, but I was like, oh, how much did it cost? Okay. Is it a twenty-eight? It was ex it was exactly right. Seven times four. Yeah. 28. Okay, I think. Wait, it's 24, right? I don't look at the look at look at the card. Oh yeah, good 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 point. <laughs> um, it cost 28. Oh yeah, right. so, it was so better lucky than good, Nima. <laughs> <laughs> better better lucky than good. So, um, what do you think about the concept of grass? 
You want to go grass moss? Sure. Dude, let's get our let's get our plant prod on. Plant prod. We have a lot of points in hand. I we're it it we're not totally dead in the. I mean, now getting a milestone that hurts. <laughs> but that's not to be. That's not unexpected for Saturn systems. It's not. It, it's you have to make up for it with Jovians though, or some other. I don't know some other thing, but yeah, awards too maybe. We're not like awesome on awards. We're not horrible on them, but we're not awesome. Um, Carpe is asking how scientist looks. I'm kind of curious too. That's a good question. Um, three, three, two. Landlord, we're we're gonna catch up on landlord. I don't know. If, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, we may not catch all the way up. To, we're gonna get into second on that, is my guess. Yeah, so, yeah I can see that. Hmm. So I think that we nitrophilic moss. Let's do that. And then I think I think that we actually play. I guess the investment loan doesn't. Uh, we could investment loan titanium mine and small animals. I think we're gonna have we're gonna want titanium for the rest of the game. We're gonna spend all this titanium. So doing investment loan is minus one, but it's gonna give us. I guess it may not be worth it. Probably not worth it now that I think it's going to cost us two generations just to make it back. Yeah, Probably they might be it. it might be over in two generations. All right, so we'll just small animals. Uh, I guess. Yeah, it's good. That's six credits for a point. That's good. All right. All right. So I'm going to hold off on using the other on that uh, on the loan. Make sure to use the card too. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I always forget that. Um, all right. Well, we are decidedly less excited this game than last time. <laughs> well, this is we we uh, yeah we just. I don't know. We were getting crushed from the start. I think I think what I, the learning point for me in this game, just because I'm pretty inexperienced with preludes, is that the milestone fight happens so much faster. So, mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that I'm not sure there's anything we could have done about it in this one. But oh, open city um, comet's good for us too. Although maybe we don't want to be terraforming. I think we take open city. Can't play it though yet. I know, but we like oxygen's going pretty quick. That's a good point. I mean, he's got a bump, so it's gonna go at plus two. We we might get there. You want to take the city? That's what I would do. We don't have any power. We're passing a comet that somebody can hit our plants with. Kind of annoying. Although we don't have, we don't have any power. No. I mean, we have a card that gives us power, but well, that, that, yeah, eighteen does have a point on it so i'm cool I with think... open city open city also helps us with banker uh-huh i think it's open city i mean trees is also quite good we need cities man yeah i'm, I'm cool with that that's fine which way are we passing shoot we're passing to tim finnegan he's got the double energy thing Ooh, land claim Ooh, fuel generators could be good too there's power Um, interesting. Do you want to play this card? Because if we're going to play this card, then I don't think we take the other one. I don't think so. Like, I would sooner just buy Giant Space Mare and use our Titanium on it. Well, no, we've got plenty for Titanium. We've got right. So, so, I mean, we might want to take Land Claim, honestly. Why not Field Generators? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if if we're gonna play this card, then I don't think that we need. 
I guess I guess we can't play both of these in the same turn. So I don't we, think we do, man. All right, so let's take the let's just take the fuel generators. That's that's good. I think you're right because we wouldn't be able to play both of the other ones anyway. Uh, that's too costly. It's Martian rail. Um, do you want to take food factory? Yeah, I think that's. Well, I don't know if we play it. Yeah, just in, yeah, probably not. Just I, we probably don't buy it because we're we're drawing a couple cards with AI, so the bar has to be pretty high. Where are we going to play this plant? I mean, do we... We really need to put a city down, man. I know, but we, we can't... Well, we can, but it's not pretty. I mean, maybe we just standard project a city and don't buy that's any what, of these cards. That's what I'm saying, man. But, like, why, why, why couldn't we buy any? Um, although this has a point on it. It is it is better. Yeah, I, I, I think we'll, we'll need a second city. The only, the only other really big asteroid card well i mean we passed one that hits us for three maybe maybe what we do nemo is we just take the open city we plan on playing tech stress power this turn we play the city next turn and just stockpile plants like it's not great and if somebody giant oh, ice man. asteroids it's bad yeah. but, but just look how bad this is nemo we because we can't play the open city unless we play our plant down if we can't play a plant into a three situation or somebody's just going to take it so then we play a plant here just so that it's a two we're just taking points away from ourselves like, I, I know, but what? Why? Why? Why not open? Take open city fuel generators. Um, standard project a city in the greenery. We can't afford that. We can't. Oh, you want to play two yep. cities? Twenty six. So we'd be at twenty nine. Then we would play a standard project city. Right. We still have the titanium left over for the other stuff we need to do. I wish I could see my cards. Okay, I can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we still have investment loan too, actually. Yeah, that's true. That's not terrible. You know, I, I, that's that's not bad. I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. You want to go? Yeah, so no, no. Then I think we should just skip the generators and just play plays tech stress power when because we'll have I time. I don't think tech stress power is good, man. I think it's too expensive for what we need. It's a point for 14 credits. Like, what do we need the three power for right now? Yeah, you're right. Okay, you convinced me. All right, so we're going to drop a city and then play play a plant? Yep. And I think we play it to the right if we can. You want to play it here? Yeah, we could do that. We have a couple good spots right now. And play the plant right here? It kind of blocks that. green a little bit. It's, I yeah, like yeah. That. Okay. I like that. Yeah, that feels bad. <laughs> but so it must be. All right. So then, I think this is the turn. I think if it comes back around to us, we should play um, imported hydrogen before we lose the opportunity to get a, a, an ocean tile down. And I think we probably just, although it is two points, you know, the, the, the thing is by the time that fish is on, there's no way that there's ocean tiles left. So. The question is: Do you take three plants, or do you put the do you take a point off of uh, decomposers? Decomposers, and I, I kind of leaning towards a point on decomposers. Um, oh, wait, so what's when does fish turn on? At two. There's no Oof. there's no way it's going to be a possibility. That hurts. So 
So we go Yeah, so I think I guess we can see what we draw. That kind of that might have thrown us through a loop. Well, I mean, when somebody standard projects a, a city like we just did in the end game, usually it means it's an act of desperation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, there's there's there can be no question of that. he's got 51 credits and he's got 10 i mean we're 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 gonna get completely annihilated in this game there's just no way around it but i i don't i'm not sure what we could have done totally differently like i guess i don't know i mean i felt like we had decent cards so i'm not sure i, I i'm not sure like i'd have to go back and look at it um i think they're playing well they're likely cutting the ooh, vestas ooh, nice okay Still, still don't have a freaking multiplier. Do you want to... I guess the question is, do we play this imported hydrogen? I guess now that we have Vesta, we just play Vesta. Why, why would No, why would you play Vesta right now? Why would I? Yeah. Because it's a titanium production and a booster economy. It's still good. It's, it, it's a little late to be trying to get economy right now. Well, the point is, is like this is worth two points. This is worth one in a Jovian and four, you know, probably eight credits. I, I bet this is gonna go to ten generations. Want to see what yep. we draw? Yeah. That one's dead. The qu I mean, the thing is, we we have we have enough titanium to play all three of these cards. There's no reason not to play this card. But the question is, do we do we risk playing in in terms of sequencing? Do we play hydrogen first because the oceans may be gone? Um. Then maybe we don't get the well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think maybe it convinced me to play the ocean. almost do both so if we play the ocean to here we get four money back that gives us 12 we'd have to sell three cards we, we could totally do that we're not going <laughs> to play titanium mine oh actually we have investment loan investment too. loan got bushes too actually bushes pretty good too Yeah, that is good. Maybe we should get bushes down. What if we played if we played imported hydrogen onto We could take this two plant spot, three, four, five. That would put us at seven plants. We've got cities. Probably. What do you think? Well, I do like bushes, man. I don't know. You want to go, if we go hydrogen, so we could go hydrogen. And the problem is the next plant that we play is going to make a three point city. <laughs> We're just so that's so, well. That's why we have open city. So like we I know, but like we because we if if we play if we play imported hydrogen to this square or actually to this square, we get five plants back. We're at seven. Then we could play, play it there. What? Why would you play it there? To get two plants back, it gives us five plants. Then it puts us at seven. Oh, the ocean. Gotcha. Sorry. Yeah. Then we go investment loan bushes, and we have enough to play a plant this turn. Okay, then don't play it there. Play it down to the south, get the money. Here? Yeah. Bad. Then you set up another one here, and then where do we put our 
varsity. You could at least go up north there. I, I'm pretty confident that Tim is going to place a city here. We could just put the here. I don't know. Maybe we just don't do this right now. Yeah, maybe now. we just play Vesta and then just pass. I, yeah. I think we try to get open city. Let's just play Vesta then. They have to be concerned that we're holding a bunch of multipliers. <laughs> not if not if they've been cutting them. So open city requires what twelve percent? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there next turn. So the so do you know what I think we might actually want? Depending on how this goes, we might want to get fuel generators down this generation, because then that would allow us to place a plant in open city immediately. I like that. That seems good. So. Um, I don't think there's really a world in which we're playing imports, so why don't I just sell a couple cards and make these guys pass the turn, and then I'll just play that as our last thing. Okay. I'm I'm quite I'm pretty confident. Well, I mean, he's got the cities now. If he has them, he would play them now. So we'll we'll see. He might just standard project one. Yeah, ah, there it. it is. Okay. Interesting. Oh. It's not where I was expecting him to go. He's probably got a sec. He's got probably got another city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Uh, he could probably still stand a project one. I don't Doesn't think seem he's like he's have. going to. I guess he's out of power now because he played. And underground is not like a great city, so maybe that means he doesn't have a city. Well, I mean, do you want to just investment loan bushes then? Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. And then we, we could still play fuel generators. Yeah. There That's we go. Yellow. It's the other player, though. I know. That's fine. I don't mind giving him points. We're just getting destroyed anyway. I wanted those points. <laughs> well, we, it's still going to be a good city over somewhere else. We'll still have a good city somewhere. Should probably slow roll it. Yeah, I probably should have. I'm kind of I'm kind of losing my. I don't really care that much <laughs> anymore. Sweet. <laughs> that makes a that makes a fun show. I feel like there's no way we could possibly win. I, I'd have to go back and look at it again and see. Um, I mean, this guy's at 37 TR. Like, how did we get? How did he get to 37 on his TR rating? Like, yeah, Demos and. Plants. Jeez, stuff like that. <laughs> okay, there's another good spot for her. Um, uh, So far, um, the uh, what's that called? Air, optimal arrow breaking has generated nine heat and two credits. Doesn't seem that bad to me. Actually, negative one credits and nine heat so far. All right. Um, Well, you want to just throw these bushes down? Do it. And let's just go ahead and fuel generators. No, 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 pass. Like, look at you turning into Q, man. <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be some good urbanized areas and some good... Uh... <laughs> yeah, right. 
but we passed commercial one of them. district commercial <laughs> district was passed no oh no that's a great commercial district right there it was it was passed it's in this it's in the game <laughs> oh man i feel like some, i feel like that would have been played now maybe they don't have money <laughs> <laughs> Um, we had an urbanized in our initial card set. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe this game's not gonna end, not gonna go ten. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just going to go, uh, you have six Jovian tags, zero multipliers. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and play this. Okay. Here comes Power Supply Consortium. Yeah, I don't know how we got so smoked because I feel like our production's okay. It's not, I mean, we have 28 and 36 production. He's at 21, 28, uh, 32, 33. So we actually have more production than those what was, guys. What was his, what were his preludes? Um, oh yeah, the Allied Bank is quite good. And those, that metal rich asteroid yeah, is pretty sweet These too. are all good preludes, yeah. I mean, we had preludes too, though. It's not like I know. Um, the, pro the what's what sucks about our position is that we're. I think in order for us to win, we would need like a combination of both awards and multiplier, and like we don't, we don't just don't have enough money to be competing in both. Um, yeah. Finally. Okay, that's nice. Uh, no, not really, Hodgepodge. I, I still feel like it's... Uh, I, I think that the... I mean, we've talked about this multiple times, but the shortening of the game, I think, just changes the nature of the game quite a lot. And I, something I learned in this one, which I did not appreciate, is just how quickly the milestones go in Preludes. Um, that also makes the milestone fights seem a little more arbitrary. Um like, I'm not sure that we possibly could have competed for him in this one. Um, maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe I just played it poorly. It's quite possible. I think I'm just going to take Invention Contest here. There's an act of desperation. We could... I mean, we have six Jovians, right? So that, that Water Imports is a seven-point play for us right now. Mm -hmm. um, with that Wild Tag, so... If we can just get another one, that'd be sweet! <laughs> into multi ggs <laughs> we have ai central um jbox how many uh how many generations do you typically play like maybe uh because in the standard game it's usually 10 11 for me um this earth office actually might be good we've got two cards to play with earth off uh yeah potentially three um a pass fuel factory i don't think that's 11.3 <laughs> um i think Wait. that the in the typical three player game it usually goes 10 or 11 sometimes 12 depending on who you're playing with so 10 to 12 and the preludes have been uh 8 to 10 we'll take this i don't think we're taking invention contest i don't i mean do you want to do we, it's desperation card draw the thing is i don't think we'd have enough money to play a jovian off it anyway because we want to play imported nitrogen this is a huge point score for us right this is going to be a point two points another point a half a point this is like a five point play right here so i think the combination of imported nitrogen fish is going to be almost as good as a jovian for us anyway a multiplier obviously not mm, no but the only jovian multiplier that we could afford to play would be would be the city one so like 
Yeah, if we had exactly Ganymede Colony, that would be better than Fish Nitrogen. But other than that, that's it. Like Io, we couldn't afford, and Terraforming Mar uh, Ganymede, I don't think we could afford it. So you're assuming it ends this this round, right? It may not end this round. I mean, I think it's. A, I guess it depends a little bit on whether or not we contribute to it. We have a bump. We have a plant, a heat, and an ocean tile to play ourselves. I don't know. If you you want to take it, I'm cool. Whatever. Yolo. It's pretty cheap. Let's take Earth Office. I mean, it's five to play. It's five credits. Right. It's a lot of credits at this point in the game. I think we skip it, dude. We're drawing two cards on. We're drawing two cards on AI, and we're seeing another card with our action. Okay. I took that Earth Office, assuming that we're going to play both of these events. Oh shoot, we're in range for that bump too. I didn't realize that. Probably this he's gonna play giant ice asteroid and just cream us. It's about to go down here. <laughs> I I just totally lost sight of this. I thought that this would be done for sure. Um Murphy has a bump too. So does Valley Trust. I guess. Almost a certainty that he has the way to get that. Yeah, okay. Okay, wow, okay. I think the game's ending this turn because just with what we have... It seems he's got, like it. He's got a plant bump. He has a plant bump. We have yeah. a plant bump. Well, shoot, we, well, then... He's got a heat bump. So we're he definitely doing... Bump. We're, we're definitely doing city... Greenery, right? If if we think that the game is ending right now, I think we want to play this imported nitrogen. Two points for 16. I guess it's not that good. Well, we definitely want to play water import. If we think the game's ending. Yeah, we're definitely going to play water imports. No doubt. Um... I guess the, I guess we just play our plant now and make sure we Damn. get this, make sure we get this last one here. Let's do that. Now where do we play it? I'm not sure we're gonna play that city because we actually don't need it. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have two more plants to play. I yeah, I think that was a mistake, dude. To play this plant. To play it there. Oh, that's totally fine. What's wrong with that? Well, like, we're giving Tim a point. That was Admiral Murphy. I gave it to Admiral Murphy. Okay. I gave it to the other guy. So where does the next plant go? Um... <clears throat> That's a good question. See, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the future here. Like, I think we're just going to give more points to Tim. I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's uh, it. Or Admiral. To, to Admiral Murphy. I actually. So now I'm looking at this. Okay. So here, here's what I think. We need. I think ideally we need to decide if we think this game's going to end. Because if we do think it's going to end, we're probably incentivized to try and play. This last, like, basically try and take some of these TR on the way out. Let's see here. 45, 37, one bump, one bump. So we would need two bumps in addition to our stuff. And if somebody extends it, it's probably not bad for us. I don't, I don't like. Yeah, so we we haven't actually asked that question yet. Do we want it to go well, another I think we, generation? I, I mean, I think that 
it's it's not bad for us because if we draw another Jovian, we're going to see another seven cards. Yeah, that's Jovians true. Jovians are a lot for us. I mean, and, and our economy is not so bad. I mean, okay, Banker, how does that affect us? Ooh. So now I think the game's going to end. Well, we, I, I, I don't does know. Does Banker affect us? We're second on Banker? Okay. But we're probably going to end up third on that. Fortunately. What's the likelihood it doesn't end? So we need three he's bumps. Gonna, he's going to bump the heat. So it would be... He's got 45 credits. I, I feel if someone had giant ice asteroid, it would have come out by now. Well, then now it's not profitable because there's eight ocean tiles. Right. I mean, why don't we just play, why don't we just slow roll and we'll play fish. Right? Okay, let's just do this. Let's play fish. And pass. If this comes back around to us, then let's play the ocean because it's a three-pointer right now. Hmm. This game's tricky. I... This is seven points. This is going to be three, four, five, one, two, three, four. This is four points. Four and a half. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think we try to make this go another round. It's elevator. Hey there. I think this game's ending, man. Probably. That we're not gonna have time for. All right, fine, whatever. We hit, if if the game's gonna end, it's gonna end, and we'll just we'll just see how it happens because we do yeah, have we have a lot of points in hand. So exactly, like we don't need the TR per se. The thing about TR that's good though is that if it's going to end, each of these is worth like two points, right? Because it's a point away from somebody else who would have had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. It... Hopefully, if it's going to end, hopefully it sequences out where we can at least get one of those heats. I think I think we should just bump the heat on our next turn when it comes back to us. How far? How much are we losing by? He's at four VP, and we have sixteen. We have two on. Uh... Well, twenty three plus the, the two plus. multiplier. I haven't counted that in yet. So we have 16 and he has four, so it's 12 points. 12 doesn't even get us back to parity here. Yeah, plus he has two milestones. That, well, that's what I'm thinking. So 12, 39, 41. Yeah, I mean, we're just getting completely destroyed, so that doesn't matter. I guess I guess playing water imports gives us another seven points, so that's 19 point differential. 19 takes us to... 29, third, I mean, we would need another award. Can't, we can't do it all. He's going to fund Landlord once the points are lower. Anchor, so that's going to be another three. Anchor's still dangerous, man. No, for sure. I, I don't think that we're all going to 
likely to get second because we don't have a way to bump that. Um, Do an aminol and or for that, just so I don't forget to do it. Sure. Yeah, Admiral definitely got in the way of our ground game there. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, if if he hadn't, I think the other guy would have put a thing down there, so. Well, but he didn't. Like, we could have. That would have been like... He didn't because four or five this that played that there. No, I thought, that the, I thought it was the, its sequence, so the... Like, Tim... He played his city here, and then this guy played it here. Remember? Right. I guess I remembered it incorrectly. I think the problem was that we basically went Jovians and then ended up in a ground game strategy. Like our, <laughs> like our economy didn't help us. It, it just wasn't synergistic in a way that like let us. Like we, it's like we have two different strategies going in parallel. You know. Right. Um, which. Which just meant that we weren't doing either of them particularly well. I don't know. Yeah, there's a. I think there's a lot of small things that worked against us, including just our poor play. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We also have eight minutes on the clock. Wow, I feel bad for Admiral. <laughs> he has 43 minutes on the clock. <laughs> this must have been the most painful game for him ever. <laughs> I have to say, like, uh, good job. Oh, he passed without bumping the heat. That's interesting. I almost just want to put us out of our misery, dude. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just over it. Can you tell? Oh, could you hear him purring? Yeah, he purrs pretty loud. Can you tell that I'm basically over it? Let's see here. I mean, they have to be worried about our Jovians. Because <laughs> we do, I mean, if we had two multipliers here, we would be in it. Seriously, man. Have we drawn all our cards? Yeah. Bummer. See, we should have taken that one dumb card. <laughs> well, I don't think so, because because this turn we're going to play Water Imports, which leaves us basically enough money to play one more card, and we're going to play this Imported Nitrogen, I think. Although it might be better to play a combination of Imported Hydrogen and Gene Repair. Because this thing is going to give us plants that we can't really use. I don't know. Oh boy, this is what we're doing, huh? I'm bumping the heat. I'm going for it. He can end the game if he wants to. I'm, uh... Yeah, it's fine. He can end it. I'm I'm basically uh, sick of this game anyway. I expected him to do. Great. Now we're doing it. I thought you wanted to end the game. I do. I just want to see what he's going to do. I, I mean, we have to do this because we can't just let him fund an award. 
I guess he could just find landlord. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, how the turntables. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Dude, this is what you wanted, Nima. You wanted a super painful, slow game. You asked for yeah. it, buddy. You asked for yeah, it. That's, I specifically asked for that. It's the number one thing I don't like about this game. It's it's like I don't know if I've ever made this analogy before, but it's like getting to the end of, of an NBA game. Yeah. And someone's just hacking someone to get free throws. Like, come on, just like end the game. I I, can, I think that that ruins the NBA for me. Like, I won't watch basketball for that very reason. I I love it. I love basketball. I mean, I don't watch much basketball, but I I love basketball games. Other than that. No, I, I hear you, but like, it's just so painful that. I mean, I hate watching the end of that. Like at the part where it should be the most free flowing and exciting, it just turns into like like a super painful. Right. Um, this isn't ending yet, you know. <laughs> I, Tim is not Tim is not showing us that he's ending the game. Yeah, I don't think it's going to end. We are at seven minutes on the clock, too. We need to keep that in mind. Oof, ouch. Well, then play fast. It's in his best interest to end it. I don't... Yeah, I think he's just completely dominating right now. I don't know. He probably should just, like, standard project something and move on with his life. But it's hard to do that when you're optimizing at the end. He's probably got good cards to play. Yeah. So I'm going to make him buy the heat bumps for the time being because like we could play Asteroid or something. Yeah, make him do it. Yeah, I'm going to make him do it because I think that that has to be the least best way for him to spend his money. I sell the imported hydrogen now. Guess I shouldn't have played Earth Office. Because <clears throat> if he has to spend... Oh, I guess he won't have enough. He'll need us to help him end it. Is there like a an asteroid card he could play? Um, I don't think so. Maybe big asteroid. Or something? I don't think he has enough. For that. But we could end it. I mean, if um, asteroid. So does he have enough to, like, does he have? He could he could sell, sell all cards. his cards. I'm actually okay with that. I think we should do that. Let's just let him do that. Because. Um, this way we don't lose out on awards, which we're, we're not like optimally situated for, right? And we're right now we're winning, we're second on banker. So if he sells all his cards, that's good. That's a four point swing for us. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he wants to end it. I mean, we're not winning this game almost in it, no matter what. So oh, now he's going to go one at a time. Uh, um, well, we're not playing tech stress power, so let's just wait him out a little bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Actually, maybe we should. Okay, let's see here. Let's play. Let's just play water imports. Oh, well, well, you're going to sell that. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. Dude, that that was good TV right there. <laughs> almost <laughs> almost shit my pants right there. That was great. Oh man, that's too funny. They have to be a little nervous, right? Because if we had another multiplier, I think we would win. We have it would be it would be eight points. 
That would put us at 29 VP, and he's at 6, so we'd have 23 VP. Well, it'd be still be... No, we'd still lose. I mean, he, he's just so far ahead of us because of the milestones. Um, but we'll make him sweat it anyway. Like, what's he waiting for us to do? Do you know, like, what what is what is the benefit for slow rolling for him? He doesn't want to lose. I mean, he wants to, you know, like he wants to end it if he's going to win, and he doesn't want to. End so it. okay, so he wants to see if we just bust out all of our Jovians, and if we do, then he can go another round. Right. I think so. What's our next play? I think we just play imported nitrogen. Yeah. And we're signaling at that point that we don't have, that we're not going to end it. But, well, I guess I guess we could asteroid and end it. And I think we'd have enough to play both of these because we get two titanium. This is eight credits back. We don't want to end it. Don't we, though? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, maybe, but. All right, so let's sell robotic workforce. Just, I mean, it does help us to just make them, um, to just, like, uh, spend his cards because if if we if it does go another generation and he has no cards then he's drawing off the top and we have a few good plays how many cards does he have four, four. so the so question is nima do we sell another card <laughs> I, I guess we can sell tech stress power there's almost no situation as, in which we're going to play this a point yeah. for 18. So I think we just sell that. Yeah, you agree? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I don't, but I do. You don't want me to do it? No, I'm just saying I hate selling one card and passing. <laughs> How many cards does Murphy have? Four. I'm going to make him sell all his cards down here. Okay, so then, then, then should we play... play we have five minutes on the timer do you do you want to end it then i guess we're, we're almost certainly not i mean shoot man if this went another generation we might be able to win it but like not if we run out of time just do something quick Let's play the imported hydrogen. That lets us play a, another thing, so he's going to have to make a decision about what he wants to do. Just left a greenery hanging there. He's only got 12 credits. I mean, this is so we have another action, so we don't have to sell a card. <laughs> Where do you want to put the greenery? I think we just put it over here. Plus one point against him. Two credits back. And then actually it gives us enough money to play gene repair because we can go we can sell these other two cards and play gene repair. Wow, man. I don't know about that spot. It's the best spot we have. It's plus one point against him, because we get two points, he gets one. Where well, so we could play it here, it gives the other guy a point. We play it here, everybody is a point and us. Play yeah. it over here, he's a point. We play it here, he's a point. So yeah. and we get two credits back, which is gonna let us get two more points with one in repair. Okay. I think it's it's, it's fine. Now he has to make his decision, man. Sell that last card. <laughs> How many points do we have? 24? I mean, I mean, he's pretty clear now, right? Like, why is, like, we can't possibly get a multiplier down now. No, I know. Come on. It's Jesus just the... It's just the uh, he did it, dude. See, it's oh, just there the we go. Are you happy? Fuck. 
God dang, dude. God, get pissed, Nima. Get pissed. I'm going to. Dude, you should get pissed, dude. Well, we ended up with a lot of points. I think we had 28 points because we have two more. Um, but those milestones just just crushed us. There's there's no way around it. Um, I hope they the hope they pop back in. I want to hear how if they uh, hacked some multipliers away. Yeah, I think we were, I think we were a multiplier short because I I you know like. It would have been an eight eight pointer, eight points. I don't know. We'll see. I don't actually think it was that close. I think we probably lost by like fifteen. So, I don't think. I just don't think I appreciated from the start how how much um, how quickly. The milestones go like that, that was a learning thing for me i think i think i need to be thinking about that a little bit more um oh my god yeah it's pretty close i mean i think i think if we had had one more multiplier we could have won that game clearly yeah so. wow that was closer than i thought man that was closer than i thought too i i thought we played okay but like um yeah i mean as just like an initial experience with preludes this is the first preludes game that i played that was close you know where like i felt like what i mean by that is i think i've probably played preludes now in my lifetime six times five times maybe six because we played it a few times with greg right mm, i don't like we we I, played I it don't enough. know that i've ever played preludes with you well we played it and we played it together to form the opinion that we hated it so we must have gotten three <laughs> or four rep, reps in oh yeah no we, yeah i've played it at least once with you i've played it a couple yeah. times with other people so then and then i've probably played it now online three times in in so maybe like the six or seven preludes games i've played i think somebody just like ran away with it from gen one in two of them like they were just so far ahead after turn one that it was just like okay this is this is done that's that's happened to me three times okay so for me twice then in a couple of games i've just like lost horribly i probably just didn't play great and then and then in a couple i just crushed everybody and then this is like the first Preludes game I've played where, hey, great game, Admiral. That was super fun. Uh, where <laughs> where it was like close, you know? Yeah. And like looking back on it, like what could we have done differently? Like, I guess, hey, good game, Tim. Well played. So, well played. Uh, so, okay, I'm glad you guys both came back on. Um, sorry to interrupt you, Nate. But no, go Admiral ahead. and Tim, did, did you guys... Uh, hack any Jovian multipliers? Really, really need to know, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ganymede Colony would have, was the card that we needed. Um, that would have been... That would have put us close. Just that card alone would have put us close. Wow. Oh, man. So then we just didn't draw it. We Like, we didn't... Wow, yeah, one, one, one. That that last generation was quite tense. Um, we, I, I'm a, yeah, I'm a little surprised as well. We didn't draw it. Like we had really good card draw, and it's just just luck, I guess, man. So like, yeah, I, I mean, I totally get why you slow rolled that last uh, generation, Tim. It was um, as painful as it was. <laughs> Honestly, we couldn't have survived another generation anyway. Um, well, I mean, like IO, IO, what's the the IO multiplier was still out there. The IO multiplier would not have been good for us. It was way too much. 
That that's, one that's very expensive. That's what I'm saying. Like the the only, I mean, it wasn't really that unlucky because, like, ter- like Gan- uh, Ganymede Colony would have been the only card that would have been really really good for us. Uh, Terraforming Ganymede would have been good, uh, just in that it would have been a ten pointer. I think ten points for thirty, but. We scored a lot of points in the last round. It wasn't like we didn't. I think what what really hurt us in that game was the sequencing. What we really needed, we really needed a city down earlier because we sort of went this path of plants and then like just look how poor our our yeah. city was. Like I mean, we gave all the other players a bunch of points and lost points because we didn't have a second city. And I think that was just unlucky. I mean, we could have gotten open city down, but we didn't really have the opportunity to do that. I think, you know, early in the game, I, I made a comment about how maybe we should just standard project a city and then and then go for mayor. And I think if we had done that, we might have been able to win because we drew immigrant on the next. So, I don't know, man. I think that was at that point in the game that I feel like that would have been crippling. To you know, I. I that like i don't think we would have recovered from that we didn't do anything for the first four generations like i mean we oh actually that's not true we had had a good first couple generations where we did some economy and then we did nothing for like four generations until we got ai on i mean yeah the middle of the game was rough for us and what i'm saying so like at that critical moment if we had dropped a city down it, it would have been speculative I'm not. I'm not denying that. I'm not saying that it would have been better. I'd have to go like look back at it, but it it would have been worth worth a thought. I mean, I that was the only way we could have gotten into a milestone on this one. So uh, yeah, and like you you said it yourself just now. The sec- not having that second city down really hurt us, and I think like you, I think you really underestimated how important that was. I think I estimated it accurately. Like we just didn't have a window to do it. Like I, when we're, I mean. And I think that that ultimately came from the fact that we were playing two separate strategies. We were playing space strat on the one hand and then like ground game on the other. And like, that's not a good combo. I mean, like they, they don't synergize with each other at all. I, I totally agree with that. So like if we had spent, if we had, you know, if, if we had, if we had spent the money to get down, um, a second i mean we already standard projected a city in that game like it like that's the worst thing you can do i mean you know like when we talked about acts of desperation i mean that standard projecting a city on gen 8 is that's what that is an act of that is a call for help Viva. <laughs> um and you know i mean yeah anyway i mean I think I think that game would have been quite different had we had Cupola or had we played prioritized immigrant city. I mean, it it also sucks that some of those packs were just like the packs were so stacked in the first four, where like that's the worst situation in a draft is when you open up a pack with four great cards yeah. and you take one and you know that both people are going to get good cards. That happened to us twice. It happened twice, and the in the big the one was. Um, was um one of them was uh colony ship versus immigrant city and in retrospect i think it would have been better um yeah exactly so that was the other one tim when we 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 had a pack where we opened up research outpost space elevator and ai central um and like those are really really bad drafts because yeah you got a great card but both of your opponents got a great card and there were lots of first drafts where the second pack sent to us had you know very little in it that was good. So I mean that that's like the you know yeah. So I, speaking of those cities again, I just like I think we could have done a better job with our sequencing getting another city down. I just don't think we tried hard enough. You know what I mean? I'm not so sure about that. Um, I think so. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I think as it turns out, a crucial pick in this game was Immigrant City. And I think we were in the mode at that point of like taking colony ship because we had fish and and then in the end we ended up firing off the colony ship, I think appropriately, sort of as an act of desperation to try and draw cards. 
But I think that we probably should have just taken Immigrant City because we had all of those plant cards in our hand. And Immigrant City would have been was a cheap city um, that that would have been you know would have given us some board position. I, I yeah. think that ended up would would have ended up being better. Um, you may be right there, but I but I'm not. I mean, I don't, on the other hand, passing colony ship is just tough because that, that's obviously a great card, and that would have gone to somebody else who had birds. You know? Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, we had fish in our hands. It's it's just a great card in general. We wanted the we wanted the cards because of Jovians. Like there was a lot of good things about it. So it, yeah. it, that wasn't an easy decision, no matter what. Admiral, there was a point in the game where we could have taken Mayor because we had um, we had. Uh, What's that city out here? Uh, Phobos. Phobos. We had Phobos down, and we had position in the in the draft. So if we had standard projected a city early, and then then we let off the next one, we could have played a city taken mayor. So there there was a way we could have done it. Um, but I I still maintain that probably would have crippled us. I'm not. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the end, we we got the blast. So <laughs> it's hard to. But not by a lot. Yeah, but like, you know, almost don't feed the bulldog, dude. Last is last. I mean, like, you know, I mean. Um, well, anyway, it was fun. It was a good game. I, I still don't like Preludes. I, I, um, I mean, part of it is my unfamiliarity with it. Like, it definitely changes. Um, it definitely changes the game. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, the other thing that I've been thinking about is uh, I, I I don't think it's um, appropriate to play with a uh, with a template that tells you what the score is. Um, I think that because like Hodgepodge plays with that, it's cool. It's a cool app, and it basically sits on the screen so you can see what the in game score is in real time. I don't think that should be legal in tournament play. Because I think that um, I think that the ability to sort of get a sense of who's winning and and, and keep a t tabs on the score, I think that's a skill. I don't think that that's a uh, um, no. I, I wasn't suggesting that you were. I, I th Tim, this was just a a free floating idea of mine. Because um, I I like it. I mean, it's cool, but I I think that like. I feel like that that ability at the end of the game to assess where you are and whether or not you should end it or not it shouldn't be um, you shouldn't have the you shouldn't have perfect information you should have to calculate that yourself. I don't know that I agree with that. Really? Yeah, not really. I mean, it's just like it's not the easiest interface to go around and do that with. You know, like it's it, it's easier to do the calculations when you're at a table and you can see everything with your your two eyes very clearly but like I, I i don't know man it's 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 just a thing where you can certainly do the math if you have the time it's just this saves you the time like i i don't i don't know that how how much of a skill is it to like add a bunch of things well i mean yeah i think it's actually i agree with tim i think it's easier i think so first of all there's some face down cards so in the game, in the real game, you're not allowed to look through people's face down cards. Yeah, that's that's a good point. So, and the, this game calculates that for you. And, and if you have that app thing, it does that. Uh, I think that that's, that's one thing. Um, I mean, in, in the game, in the onboard game, there is a certain amount of, like, the way that you put points on plants and stuff or animals and stuff like it's it's messy it's hard to calculate it you know yeah i guess um well, well i don't know like i really don't think that mods really i don't know it, it doesn't it, personally it doesn't bother me that much that's just me though yeah no admiral and T tim to be completely clear i'm not i wasn't suggesting uh, that you guys were using it or not. I, I, it was a free floating idea because I've been, I've been thinking about that watching some of the games, but like, like I've watched, I've watched, I've been watching Hodgepodge stream, which is a great stream. Uh, by the way, if you guys haven't checked it out, but I'm sure you have. Um, 
but like these 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 games that come down to a single point or like a plant placement or a decision to end the game or like if you have perfect information it makes it much much simpler i think that that's uh and i think that that's a a fun part of the game is is uh is sort of the like did we do it right you know like like when the game is close and you're adding it all up and you're trying to make the decision you're like all right i i hope we can do it you know like i hope i hope it works out like i think that's a fun moment in the game and i think that the the board game does that for you because it's it's messy i mean it's hard to figure it out there's you know all the tiles everywhere and like um, there's hidden information and then there's a bunch of like little weird cubes floating around and you know i mean i don't know i think that's a fun i think that's a fun thing yeah i guess i will say that i i i would i would say that i think all three players or however all x players sh- should be using it to not get advantage over someone else so i agree with you there um, it it is an advantage of some kind i don't think it's a huge one well, or I even, actually, or even other, a big one. Well, the other thing too, though, is that in a game with time pressure, I think it is hugely consequential because, um, which and you like what we're really talking about is like what should the tournament format be? And I, I like the tournament the way the tournament format is set up right now, where it's a forty five minute game, which it's not super fast, but it's also not super slow. And a lot of those games, you're going to come down to like okay, I could spend five minutes and calculate everything if I was over this board, but I don't have time for that. Like, I've got to, I've got to sort of gestalt it. And I like, I like the blurriness around the edges there. I think it's, it makes the final point tabulation really a lot more interesting. Um, yeah, that's true. And I think Admiral's kind of talking about that too. It's just, it's more fun, you know, when you don't exactly know what's going to happen. Yeah, I agree, Admiral. I think forty-five minutes is perfect for for uh, for tournament play. I actually like thirty-minute games the best, but sometimes you end up um, well streaming with another person. You definitely don't have enough time with thirty it's minutes. Impossible. It's impossible. And then if you're um, if you end up with like the sort of like high card flow type of game, it's tough. Like you can run out of time. I actually wish they had um, forty-minute games. Uh, because I think that 40 would be the perfect amount. But, like, think about this game, Nemo. When we went to the score, we really did... I mean, we knew we were going to lose. I mean, at least I felt pretty strongly. But it was surprising that we were closer than we thought. And that's fun, right? Like, you're like, okay, what's the score going to be? Yeah. Uh, I think that's cool. Yeah, I totally agree. I don't want perfect information. Well, good. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I'm not saying, uh, you know... I'm not saying I want to use that mod. I just don't really care if you do. For those of you that are still in the chat, what do you guys think we could have done better? Um, Tim, I think that would be awesome. I really, I, I think that's a really cool uh, proposal too. Um, because usually, what I mean, we 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 always play slow when we play uh, together, Nima, but. If you're playing on your own, usually it's like you play faster and then all of a sudden there's like a moment that you really have to think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, you know, GG, like hard fought game. Yeah, that was good. That was fun. Um, and. Well, you'll be able to see it at some point soon, Tim, if you want. I'll probably be posting this. So you can see exactly how it went. All right, man. Well, I'm bummed that we didn't uh, get to play the league game because um, I uh, I was hoping to get that done. Oh well. But yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. It's uh, YouTube and Twitch, Cardboard for Mars, and Twitter at Cardboard Mars. Do you have any parting thoughts, Nathan? Um, I have no parting thoughts, Nima. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he will. Admiral, you're on the wait list. That sucks, dude. Uh, the tournament's been really fun. I, I I knew very little about it when it started, and um, 
yeah, it's been it's really fun to play league matches. I don't know. I, it's I don't. It's just it's fun. Um, right. I'll say bye for now on the video. All right, everyone. Uh, we will catch you on the next one. If, or uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> bam. Good sign off. Good sign off, man. <laughs>